Hey guys, it's Christiana King. Welcome to my channel. Um, so today we're gonna be talking about surgery. Um, I'm getting a breast augmentation in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic by Dr. Giuseppe. Um, so I know a question is why do I go to Dominican Republic versus America? Well, Dominican Republic is sculpting them, baby. I'm actually only getting my boobs done this time. Um, I actually already have my boobs done. I don't like, I do like the size. I want them bigger. So my boobs, when they were swollen, looked so nice. So I want my boobs to look like they did when they were swollen, but when they're not swollen, if that makes sense. I'm not going crazy. I don't want my boobs to be too big for my upper body and make my upper body look big to the point where I look uneven. I'm just getting it a little bigger, okay? And disclaimer, you know, if, if you are against surgery, that's fine. But this post is not for people who are not for surgery. Um, I'm just the type of person, if I don't like something, I'm going to change it. Whatever makes you happy. I'm chasing my happiness at the end of the day. You know, so it's like, whatever makes me happy. Another disclaimer, my hair looks like shit. It's uneven, all of that. I got to get it redone when I get back. What type of implants am I getting? So there's silicone, there's saline, and there is the gummy implants, which is the gel implants. Those are the best. They feel real. Like, I can't even tell I have implants. Sometimes I forget, for real. Like, I can't even tell. They look real. They feel real. Like, they just don't feel like anything is in there. It feels like my natural fat, and it's an implant. So, yeah. Sometimes you might have to pay a little extra for the gel implants, but it's recommended. The gel implants last longer. They feel natural. So right now, I think I have, I think he said I had like 410 cc's maybe. So I'm going for like, I think he said 480 to 500. I don't remember. But I'm going a little bit bigger. Like I said, it's not a crazy difference. I'll probably go up a cup size, honestly. Let's talk about Dominican surgeons. You need to, you know, going abroad for surgery is not a bad thing. Um, you just have to do your research. Check out the school your doctor went to. Check out the schools where they did a residency. You need to check the reviews on Real Self. You need to check um, the, if they have anything negative on YouTube. You need to check Google and see if they have any deaths. Deaths is the most important because you don't want to die, okay? Don't take your chances. Like, I understand surgery is, is a chance period, but if you know your surgeon has killed 20 people, we won't name any names, but if you know your surgeon has killed 20 people, you might want to reconsider, okay? You no, know, you can't just go to their Instagram and see that, you know, they have a lot of nice work. Sometimes it's not even all their work. Some surgeons do that. They take other people's pictures. You know, they might have nice work on their page, but they have a whole bunch of bad reviews with infections. Or they've killed, you know, 10 people. Like, you, you need to research your surgeon. That's very important, when, when, especially when traveling abroad. But even in the United States, surgeons have deaths. You have to do your research, period. Don't just look at the pictures and think that, you know, they do nice work. Because that's not all it's about. You need to find somebody who does nice work and is reputable. And there's plenty of them. The process on DR is pretty simple. You know, um, you go to the clinic. They work out of clinics like they do in Miami. You go to the clinic. You get your blood work. You get your car. You have to see the cardio um, cardiologist. You have to do an x-ray. And if your labs come back great, you can get surgery. So I'm getting my surgery tomorrow. Um, I'm going to insert a picture towards the end of my before boobs and then I'll do after. Caring for my boobs, like the aftercare is not, it's literally like two days and it doesn't hurt. Boobs are just so different, like you can get it, okay so different ways to put it in. They can put it through your armpit, they can put it through your belly button, they can put it like under your boobs like they just do like a little slit and, and slip it in my doctor he cuts half my nipple and he puts it in that way and that way i still have sensation in my nipples and you can't tell that i even got them done because you know the color of your nipple and the scar it just camouflages so you can't even tell um you can get it done in your through your throat I'm just playing. <laughs> don't do that you can't eat past anytime you get surgery you can't eat past eight and you can't drink past 10 and then before you go to bed can you see this my camera's about to die 
before you go to bed you have to wash with this and in the morning um, my doctor has you wash with it again and you don't rinse it off in the morning I'll get my surgery I'll you know update this I'll add it in or whatever hi guys so I'm two days post-op today um, I was gonna update on the day of but I was lazy and it's not like I wasn't up to it I was just lazy same with yesterday today I'm two days post-op Today I'm two days post-op and I am going home tomorrow morning, like literally at 5 a.m. Um, There's supposed to be a tropical storm and it might turn into a hurricane, so I'm trying to get out of here before, you know, it hits Florida. So, because you know, I live in Florida now. So yeah, um, I don't need to stay out here for, you know, 10 days because I literally just got my boobs done. I know how to do wound care, I know how to take care of them, so that's pretty much it. Um, when I went to the doctors today, you know, they're good, I don't have any infections or anything, so as long as I take care of them properly, I should be good. And you know, I, I, I had um, breast augmentation before, I just got bigger, so you know, I know how to do, I know how to take care of it. So I did have a fever yesterday, but you know, anytime you go, anytime you have anesthesia, period, you get a fever. Whether it's two, three days later, but you're gonna get a fever, so that's normal. But everything else, I'm not really in pain anymore. Um, the day of, I was kind of in pain, like my nipples kind of hurt, but I'm okay now. So I'm just healing. I can't lift my hands over my head, which is kind of hard. Um, I can't do any heavy lifting, which is kind of hard because I don't have a man. So yeah, but um. Maybe I'll get a man so he can do all that for me. <laughs> Psych. I'm, I'm, it's like really compressed right now. My boobs are like really big. I went from 400 cc's to 540. Okay. My boobs are big. But they're like. I have um. I have like. This thing and it's like pressing them down. I can't get them wet for two weeks. Um, That sucks. I mean, I can only shower from bottom down. It's probably taking a lot of baths because I can't get my boobs wet. I'm supposed to go to Mexico, Mexico, okay? I'm supposed to go to Mexico on the 10th. So that's like really soon. That's really soon. <laughs> Damn, that's really soon. That's like two weeks post-op. That's not good. But I'm supposed to be going to Mexico. I, I might not be able to do like a lot of activity in the water I didn't think about that I'm not gonna lie I mean I can't cancel my trip now but I didn't think about that yeah anyway so if you like this video give it a thumbs up like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys and if you guys want me to do another surgery video like cause like I said I'm real knowledgeable about like BBLs and all that type of stuff um, I can do another surgery video. Um, just let me know. Bye.